Hi there, in this video we're going to go over the data instruction now. What the data instruction says, it says load these 8 bits into this register, ok? So the register is given by RB which is the last two the least significant bits here. So we can choose the register R0 to R3 via the, these two bits. The data instruction is given by 0, 0, 1, 0 and these two bits here are, are don't care, ok? So Let's go and have a, a wee look and see how this is going to do this in logis in logism. Okay, so there we go, that's us in logism. Now if I reset the simulation, we see that I've nobbled this so that we're forcing in the, the instruction. So the instruction is 001, okay, and I'm going to load the value into reg B, okay, so there's reg B, okay. Now the value I'm going to load in, again I've nobbled this here, so that I'm forcing a value into the RAM and then we'll take that value back out and place it in here. Okay, so let's have a look inside the control section and see what's happening. Now what we're doing here is, if I make it a bit smaller to get the bit at the bottom, what we're doing here is we're slowly working down this 3x8 decoder and we're using each of the outputs for new instructions. So we're down at the third one here and that's 001 on the decoder and that's given us the third instruction down. Okay, third and gate down. So we've got these three lines here are going to be followed through 4, 5 and 6. So let's have a look and see what 4, 5 and 6 are doing. Now, you know the, the first thing to notice when we get to 4, okay, this and this is high, so this and gate goes high. So We've got these sets, this set here, okay, so now the first thing to notice is we're enabling another one on to the bus, okay. Now, the reason for doing that is, is that the way the, the way the instruction works is it loads the value that's in the next address into the register RB, okay. So, you know that whenever you have a data instruction, you know that the next byte in the memory is actually data and it's not an instruction so the data will then get loaded in so normally what would happen is the next phase through when you went to the next instruction it would go to the next address but that next address isn't an instruction it's the data okay it's the data from the previous instruction so we want to make sure we actually add another one on so instead of um, going to the next address, we're actually hopping that, hopping over it to go to the one, uh, the one after. Okay, so it means that the date instruction effect takes up two bytes, and we need to jump over the second byte whenever we want, if we want to pick up the next instruction. Okay, so that's what this um, here is doing. It's adding an extra one in. Okay, now it adds a one in. So let's have a look and see. Um, first of all, it adds a one in. And it goes into uh, the, uh, the then goes on to the it sets that in the memory address register and the accumulator. So let's have a look and see how to do that actually. Better just running through. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right now, nothing will happen until we've actually got to the twelfth one. So that so you see that extra one is coming in here. Okay, so what it's doing here is. It's going to the instruction address register. The instruction address register at the moment is contains the value 000. And this is the reason why we kind of run through the full simulation because that instruction address register would normally be held in the RAM and then we'd have to go to the RAM and get it. Okay, but we're not going through that process. Okay, so that, that process was built up in a, a previous circuit, but we've left that out because we're just doing one at a time and then put them all together at, at the end. So it means that it's not really possible to show that. Also, the addition of the one, the at that won't, you won't actually see that happening either because we would need to have the fetch cycle added in as well because that's initially where the first value of one gets added on to the instruction address register. And then, of course, we're adding another value on and we'll be saving it in it. So we can't really see the whole functions happening. Right, okay. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll just go through part of the function and you'll be able to see it whenever we finish up with the final um, 
control section that we'll go through an example and we can see the whole thing happen with the final control section okay so let's have a wee look at this here and see where we are so that's enabled okay right so instruction address register is enabled onto the bus so we'll put zero onto the bus right and we're going to set that zero in the memory address register and accumulator okay cpu so we go in and that's the set so we've we'll set that zero in here okay now i've already actually loaded this one in here via that set as well so that that, that value there again it's nobbled i've just stuck it in okay so it's sitting in that first uh, memory location so we can then drag it out and we'll when we drag it out we'll be placing it in this register here okay so um let's have a look at the, uh, the next part of the cycle okay so there's nothing there right okay so now this next part of the cycle here we're going down to this line here and we've enabled the ram and we've enabled reg b okay so we've put the value of the ram and and we're putting we put it into reg b so we've enabled the ram and we've taken the value of the ram which is this value here and you can see all these out so we've taken all these out and then what we're going to do is we're going to enable it into reg b which is one one which is the third fourth register so zero one two and three okay so we'll see that come along whenever the value is enabled Sorry, it's set in that register. Okay, so there you go. So it's now set. So that value is now set in the register. And we take the set off. So we will have that value there, which is 01010101. So that is now inside this register. So in effect, that's, that's that um, almost complete. Now, the last section here is the accumulator section where we take the new value for the, from the accumulator which is it isn't actually the next address it's the it's the address after the next address okay but you won't really see that because the reasons that I've, I've stated earlier but we'll just go through it anyway okay so if I click on this okay now you see that it's actually sitting at one now if we had all the other circuitry already built in then that wouldn't be a one it would actually be a it would actually be a two okay and we wouldn't be pointing to the address that's got the data we would be pointing to the the one address after okay so we would, we would be we would be skipping a byte in effect in that memory or ram because the byte the next byte there is actually the data byte and, and not an instruction byte okay um so there's nothing else really to be said there on on that um we've got to the end of this end of what, what we're, we're going to uh, do now again uh, to see this operating we're in a position now when we're building up this control section that in order to see the uh, some of the um, some of the uh, um, options we have you know uh, actually working uh, some of the instructions actually working we'd need to actually build in the, the previous instructions as well because they, they would be required in order to see them working so it's a bit of a bit chicken and egg, you know. I, I don't want to. I didn't want to put in uh, that other complexity. I want to keep it just the one instruction. So it gives an in indication anyway, and I think you can probably follow the gist of, of what I've said. Okay, so that's all for the date instruction. We're going to work our way down these as well and just add in more and more instructions. Okay, thank you for listening and goodbye.